My name is Jen Kendrigan and I am the Educational Programs Manager for the Oliver Hazard Perry, Rhode Island's official tall ship. I'm going to start with a fun fact. Did you know that the Oliver Hazard Perry is the largest civilian sailing school vessel in the United States? Pretty cool, right? Right here in Rhode Island. We have a STEAM challenge for you. And if you're not sure what STEAM stands for, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math all of which are involved in this project today. The challenge for you all is to create a clay boat and not just any old clay boat, it has to be a boat that floats. If you don't have clay, Play-Doh also works. If you do not have clay or Play-Doh, uh, you can actually look up recipes online to actually create your own uh, Play-Doh. In addition, you're going to need a big tub of water, whether it be a big bowl, a uh, Tupperware container, anything that's large enough to place your uh, clay boat into. You will also need art supplies and items that we will use as a weight because we're going to see how much weight our boats can hold after we get them to float. How I want you all to start is with something called the scientific method where you're going to create a hypothesis and a hypothesis is an educated guess. So I want you all to go uh, grab a piece of paper, go on your computer if you want to involve the technology here, uh, and write down or type out what you think your boat will need to look like in order to float. everybody. I hope you had fun creating those hypotheses. And what we have now, or what you'll see I have, is my clay and a bowl of water to test my creations. So what you want to do now is pull apart the clay and start using your hands to create those boats. So go create those boats. I hope everyone's having fun creating those clay boats that float. Uh, you'll notice I created a few. I uh, started out with not too much luck and uh, I tested my boats and they were not floating. So I'm going to show you um, my examples. So I'm going to pop this down over here. And here's one boat, very flat. Sunk right to the bottom. So we're going to pull that out and I tried again, made it a little larger. This one lasted for a little bit, but then it also floated to the bottom. Next example floated right to the bottom. Finally, I found a boat construction of clay that actually floated. And it floats. Exciting. Uh, so keep testing your boat. Once you find one that floats, you've created your boat that floats, I want you to go back to your hypothesis and write down if your hypothesis was correct or not correct. floating boat here. I'm going to try to show you that a bit more easily. There it is. And I'm going to use marbles to start out to see how many can float in my clay boat. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's starting to fill with water. So four. It could hold four marbles. So that's how you're going to test the weight of your boat. Make a hypothesis. Each time you're going to test a different weight, write down or type out how many of that specific item you think the boat will hold before it starts to sink. Right now I have finished testing out different weights in my boat. 
And now I'm letting it dry as I prepare for the next step of this project, which is to decorate my boat. That uh, brings the art piece into this uh, fun steam challenge. everybody it's time for the final phase of our boat steam challenge and that is the arts piece of it decorating it so you might have yarn of different colors that you might want to stick onto your clay boat paints watercolors that's what I'm going to use whatever you have that you'd like to use if you have a toothpicks stick them in make the masks whatever you like this is time for you to be artistic i'm using the arts here to start decorating my ship you go decorate yours and we would love for you to share your artwork uh post it on uh, social media uh tag ohpri and uh we'd love to see your creations uh you'll notice i did all my work outside today beautiful day so you're getting fresh air, vitamin D from the sun, uh, but also it keeps all your mess out of your kitchen. And I used uh, paper bags from the grocery store and that made it so easy to clean up my mess. I folded up the pl uh, paper bag, everything was in it, popped it in the trash uh, and a nice easy cleanup. Have fun uh, with the artwork and thanks for joining us today. See you next time.